In the last lesson, we left off where it wasn't clear which page is which. So now we're going to use the heading tags to do that. So we're going to go here. We're going to type in H and Sublime Text once again is guessing what we want to put in. So heading tags go from one through six. One is the most important. Six is the least important in a logical way. So if you had a real important text like the Red Sox won the World Series, you would put it in H1. But if you had another headline like bake the pie today or something, I don't know, you would put H4 or something because, you know, it's, it's good, but whatever, it's not super poor. So I'm just, I'm going to go H2. I'm going to select H2 because it's kind of a, uh, it's pretty important, but not super important. And you'll see what I, what I mean in a second. Okay, don't worry. You'll see what I mean. So we're on the home page here. So I'm going to say home page. That's pretty cool. So let's view this. So here we go. Home page. See how it's nice and big? That's the browser doing that for us, right? H2, because it's a headline of text, it's a headline text, it's more important than just a simple paragraph. So it's made a little bit bigger. If I wanted to make it even seem more important, I would say to the browser, no, this is actually really important. We'll call it H1. Number one's better than number two. And it's even bigger. You see that? Or I can go on the other end. I can say, well, it's not really super important. So H4, it's pretty small. So what we're going to do, because this is a home page, we're going to say, yeah, we'll say it's an H1, save it, boom. So it's pretty clear we're on the home page. We go to my friends, it's not so clear. We have to look at uh, the uh, title here in the tab. We go to home page, boom, we're on the home page. Much better. Through the power of video, I went ahead and made the same changes we did to the home page, adding the horizontal rule tag and a heading so that uh, we could see what it looks like. So just to confirm, here's our index page, index.html. Then we got our my-friends page again. Notice we added it here. Same thing with my dash plans, my work, and so on. Let's take a look in the web browser. Here we go. My friends, my plans, my work. It's all pretty much done. So you can see just with the, a simple addition of a couple more tags, we've made the pages much easier to navigate. And that's a big part of web development. It's a big part of actually coding in general. You want to make sure you keep everything as simple as possible and not only in your code, but also in the pages that you create. So we've done that here. Okay. Yes. I said, we we're going to talk more about links. I got caught up with these uh, headers and horizontal rules. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the last couple of things I want to teach you about links.